Hi, welcome to an Onshape video tutorial. It's a follow-up to the last one. Now a more advanced stand. So let's have fun with Onshape. Okay, first I need a 3D spline. Therefore I want to use two do 2D sketches with points. So maybe one point right here, another one up there, and a third one maybe right here. Close this sketch, and then let's go to the right plane another sketch right there and some more points maybe one here and one over there that should do the trick now let's connect those points with a 3d fit spline goes from this point to that one to this one to that one and to this one and confirm Great, let's hide those planes. Then I need a plane normal to that curve in this point. So go for a plane. Curve point is OK. Select the point and the curve. And I've got a plane normal in that point to that curve. Now a sketch on this plane. I want to bring in that point here. And let's add a polygon, a six-sided one, like this. I need a construction circle to control the size. From the outside, let's add a dimension. And this might be, let's go for, let's see, 15. Yeah, that's okay. And maybe add one constraint for that hexagon. Okay, nice. Leave that sketch. Hide that plane, at least for the moment. Now I will need a pattern along a curve or a path. But first I have to do a full surface should be somewhere over here. Fill, I want to fill this and I might need a control circle here. So let's edit that sketch and bring in one circle, maybe here, like this, in order to control this. Now let's do here that fill surface. Confirm, add another full surface, bring back that sketch right here, and confirm. Now I can go for my pattern along a path or curve. Should be some over here, yes. I want to have a curve pattern, and I want to pattern Faces, yes, this face and that face. That's the path here. I want to go for equal spacing, yes. And let's see how many we need. Let's go for 15. Yeah, that's okay. And confirm. Great. Now I want to go for a loft. So that's a loft here. And I want to use those hexagonal surfaces for that loft. So sorry, I missed one. And this one, that one, this one.
like that but now I want to change the connections that's why I used that marker here so I want to go for a path yes the car path would be of course this curve here and I want to change the connections so let's start here I want to go from this point and go in the clock wise direction so it gets some sort of twist make sure you don't miss one so that should be this one yes the next one is that one here and then again right there next one and next one great and adjust this i think the maximum is 50 let's see yeah which gives better splines and confirm so that would be the first one I need another one in counterclockwise direction twisted so let's hide what do we have I think that's the last one here I suppose yes now go for another loft again select all those surfaces and that's necessary because the sweep in this program right now has no option to twist along or to turn along the path so that's why I have to do it in that way okay again go for a path same path and I want to check the connections here and now do it in a counterclockwise direction so we'll start again here at this point and then go to this one second one third one fourth no not here over there and then go to this one that one second one third one fourth fifth top one and two okay again go for 50 sections and confirm great next I want to extract the edges those twisted edges as composite curves let's start with our first surface that surface 31 and go for where is it I think it's here yes composite curve and that's one two three four five and six and confirm then hide this one 
and bring in the second one. And now I want to do the same here. So go again, composite curves. I should hide that curves here, just for the moment. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And confirm. Let's hide those surfaces here. So go maybe for hide them all. Yes. Great. Let's show maybe all curves. which gives me that nice mesh. Next, I have to do a whole lot of lofts from that first spline to all those composite curves. So I will make two and then stop the recording and proceed after I've done all those lofts. Let's start with a loft. It's a surface, of course. And it should go from this one here to, let's start here with that one. Confirm. And just one more, again from this curve here, now to, it's kind of hard to see. because those sketches should be hidden. So that's sketch one. Maybe just stop here and hide that sketch. That's hidden and that's Why can't I hide them all? Okay, now it's easier to see. So I need one from this curve to that one here. And confirm. And I will have to do it for those other ones as well. So I will stop now the recording. Okay, I've done all those lofts, so the model looks like this at the moment. Now I have to thicken those 12 lofts, symmetric, and let's go for 0 0.5 millimeter, or yeah, 0 0.5 should do. So where's the thicken command? I think that's it, thicken. And I want to go for 0 0.5 in both directions. And again, I will do two of those. Let's go for always a new one. Let's start with that surface here. Let's take a closer look. If that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. And I don't want to keep the tools, so they should be gone. And then another thicken with the next surface. Again new and confirm. And I will do this with all the other ones and again will stop the recording. So that went wrong, that's too much, because it was set back to 5 millimeter. That's kind of annoying. It should keep the value. And confirm. Again, I will stop the recording and proceed after I've done all those thickenings. Okay, I've done all those thickenings. 
I will need another sketch and a sweep and another thicken. So maybe now I will keep those. Yeah, I could hide those parts. Hide all parts. Now I need a sketch on my first plane here. So go for a sketch on that plane. Bring in that point here, this one. Then put a circle right there on the point and the diameter might be 12 millimeter. And confirm. Now let's do a surface sweep. with this sketch here along that path. Confirm. And now thicken that surface with 0 0.1 millimeter. 0 0.1 millimeter to both sides. Select it. I don't want to keep the tools and confirm. Hide that plane here. And now I have to intersect those other parts with that surface and I want to keep the tools. I will do it for two. So let's start with this one and that one. With those two. And let's go for intersect. If it's possible to keep the tools, of course, but I th think it is. So where's the boolean operation? There you go. And I want to keep the tools, which means I want to s intersect this, this solid here with that one. Confirm. And another intersect with this one and that one here. And confirm. So if I hide those two and maybe like this and just hide part 13 gives me those two stripes. And again I have to do it for all of these, so again I will stop the recording. Okay, so I've done all those intersections and that gives me here that nice mesh of stripes. What's left to do? If possible you could try to make a union with all those parts. This might work, might not work, because there could be some problem with those tangent conditions here. But that's it for today. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Facebook, X, even on LinkedIn. And you could also watch my trainings for Onshape, SolidWorks, Katia V5, and, Kat and Siemens and X on LinkedIn, because you can go there and have a free trial month. So thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.